you might have gotten your kit and now you're wondering what can I do with all these oils. So in this video, I'll show you the three methods of using your essential oils. That way you're good to go on your essential oil journey. So the first way to use essential oil is one of my favorites. It's aromatic. Aromatic is when you do your hand cupping like this or if you put it in a diffuser. Aromatic is a perfect way to use essential oils when you want to change your mood in a snack. It's also a perfect way to share the essential oils in a room with your family. So if you have you know, really young children, if you have pets or even elderly, this is the safest way to use and it fits everyone. Now let's say if there is a flu going around, you can also diffuse essential oils because essential oils in the air has the power to kill airborne pathogens. Now the second way of using essential oil is topical. Topical is when you apply directly onto skin. This is meant for a localized concern. So imagine if you have a cut, a burn, or a bruise, definitely you find that topical application would be more effective in addressing your concern than to take it aromatically. And the last way of using essential oils is through internal use. And what we mean by internal is mixing one drop of your essential oil with your drink, with your food, or with a carrier oil. So one of my favorites is the lemon oil. I like to take one drop in a glass of water every morning because it helps wake me up, it helps my pH balance, and also it helps soothe my dry itchy throat, which does happen every morning. Now, please keep in mind, just because the oil is pure doesn't mean it's safe for internal use. You want to choose oils that are generally regarded as safe. So the simple way to do that is to check the bottle. Let's say if we pick a bottle of peppermint oil, if you come down to this area, it should have the words essential oil supplement. That means it's meant for internal use, whereas if you pick a bottle of wintergreen, it does not have the essential oil supplement label on it. That means not meant for internal use. So I hope this simple guideline can help you get started. If you have more questions, please ask the friend who introduced